video I'm going to move away from compass and straight edge and focus a bit on um, phi and the Fibonacci's and just the display in a way that might be uh, usually I'll, I'll use the um, pentagram as a perfect example for instance the length of this line being one will make this phi or between two points being one then the whole length will will be phi now that's it's a ratio that just pops up in, in geometry and therefore in the um, maths of it as well but one way to think of it is that we start with one square okay so and it, we can say it's one one by one and we've got these down at there so we'll start with the other screen so uh, one by one square therefore we can say it has an area of one squared we had a second square now we have a two uh, or a one by two rectangle one by two therefore it would have an area of two squared now just as we would draw a Fibonacci spiral we just add a square which is equal to the longest length of the previous rectangle and by that I mean 1 by 2, 2 being the longest length we add a square now we have a rectangle of 3 by 2 or 2 by 3 I'll always reference the second length or the longer one um, so now if we're beginning to see the beginning of a phi spiral because the area of that would be 6 squared. Now if we carry on the same rule, we're going to add a square equal to the longest, longest length which is 3. So now we need 9 by adding a square of 3 by 3 we now have a rectangle of 3 by 5 giving us an area of 15 squared to follow on from that again now we need to add to now we could repeat now what we see is the Fibonacci firstly if we go down this row we see the one one two three five beginning of the Fibonacci sequence one plus one equals two 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5 and now we can see 5 plus 3 equals 8 and we can now work 5 plus 18 equals 13, 8 plus 13 equals 21, 20, 13 plus 21 equals 34 and we see here this is a repeat So now we have the Fibonacci sequence. This is slightly offset, but that's describing the rectangles of a 1 by 1, 2 by 1, 3 by 2, which gave us the, the areas of, so the next would be 40 squared, and then 104 squared, and then 273 squared, and then uh, give me a moment to work this um, uh, that would be 800 and 
take that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've fin just uh, finished off the sequence and just to complete the areas now. So essentially what we have, we want to focus on is uh, this column in yellow, which is the Fibonacci sequence. And from those rectangles we were able to obtain an area for each of the rectangles so that we have that here in orange. So these are the two. So we have the one dimensional or the length of the rectangles and we also say we have the area here now because I didn't space it so well on the paper in the screen. Okay I've gone ahead and um, so I've written them here on another list so you can see how now how do we get what is so special about that and how do we get phi the magic number from there well let's get the calculator out okay let's so let's first one one and what we're going to do is divide the second by the first so one divided by one equals one we repeat again 2 divided by 1 equals 2. 3 divided by 2 equals 1.5. 5 divided by 3 1.6666666 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. and then we have 8 divided by 13 13 divided by 8 equals 1.625 pardon me I've gone a step ahead 8 divided by 5 equals 1.6 And now we have 13 divided by 8, 1.625. And now 21 divided by 8, 21 divided by 13. One point six one five three eight four etc. Now thirty four divided by twenty one one point six one nine zero four seven. Now fifty five divided by thirty four. 647 dot 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 89 divided by 55 1.618181818 and 144 divided by 89 1.617977 so what's happening is that it's getting closer and closer to phi which is 1.618033987. So you see how this slightly above phi, slightly below, slightly above, slightly below, slightly above, slightly below. It's creating a, a wave that goes up and down and gets closer and closer to phi. Now we look at how does that affect. So let's now look at the areas. So we have one squared, two squared. Now let's do the same here so we have we're going to divide the uh, one number by the previous so 2 divided by 1 equals 2 6 divided by 2 equals 3 15 divided by 6 well, two and a half but that's 40 divided by 15 
2.6666. Okay, and at this point I want to bring this back, so let's slide that over and we have the numbers. Okay, two, first thing for Fibonacci sequence, one, two, 1.5, 1.6, 666, 1.6. 2, 3, 2.5, 2.66, so let's go to the next one and divide 104, divided by 40, equals 2.6, so 2.666, 1.666, 2.6, 1.6, so now we do 273, and I'm going to do that in a circle because that's 273 and no one should ever Ignore 273. 73 divided by 104, 2.65, 2.6, sorry, 2.625, 1.625. So you can start 1.6, 2.6, 1 1.62. So what's going to happen is as we follow this, it'll become closer and closer to phi plus 1 which equals phi squared, which equals 2.61803398. So we have the area, so the Fibonacci sequence, when we divide, becomes closer and closer to phi, and has, as we can see here, however, if we see the areas, what's going to happen is that it's becoming closer and closer to phi plus 1, which equals phi squared. This is one of the things that makes pi such a beautiful, phi such a beautiful number. Phi plus 1 equals phi squared. Um, it's, uh, it just goes on and on, so that, that's enough. So anyway, so Fibonacci, we can build it from blocks, then we can define the length. One dimensional, then we can find the two dimensional area. And we find that whatever happens is we're coming back to this number phi, either phi at 1.618033988 or phi squared, which is equal to phi plus 1. So that's 2.618033988. Uh, okay, so that's, that's a... Uh, simple way we can look at phi and find out uh, why it's so important, especially connected to the Fibonacci numbers. Now I have to say that the Fibonacci numbers is not the only expression of phi. Phi goes through any sequence that's built like that. It's built into all the basic geometry, but this is just one way to um, have examine it for yourself and, and see how it's tested and built into nature, which I think is an important thing. You, you really need so much on um, on the internet is is only valuable if we can test it ourselves and I think that's what's the, the really important part that you do this yourself don't feel um, somehow separate there's a tendency to sort of make all this stuff seem really far away and you need to have a tweed jacket with a, a leather elbow patches to understand it but no not at all the, the beauty of it is the simplicity of it and from the simplicity comes the complexity and complex systems are nothing but simplicity repeated by itself over and over again. Anyway, I hope you found that enjoyable, useful, and beautiful.